Hello, my name is Paul Miners, and welcome to another one of my Asana training videos. In this short video, I'm going to be talking about how to store notes correctly in Asana, and I'm going to discuss how Asana plays a role alongside other digital note-taking tools like Apple Notes, OneNote, Evernote, Notion, tools like this where we can store information. And I'm going to be talking about when do you use Asana versus these other tools. If you have any questions at the end of this video, please feel free to leave a comment below. And if you do want to learn more about how to maximize your use of Asana, optimize it for your business, and get your team using it properly, then have a look at the link in the description below to learn more about my Asana support and consulting options. So. Let's get into this video and let's start the discussion by talking about when to use Asana compared to other note-taking tools. Because there is a bit of an overlap between Asana and tools like Evernote or Notion or OneNote. Now, as I've talked about in another video of mine, how I use Apple Notes, I describe Apple Notes as kind of my digital notebook. And it's where I store information that's not really related to a task or a project. It's kind of that, like that digital notebook where I can just store information that I want to keep or articles that I've read that I think are useful and other materials and resources. For me and for the clients that I work with, what I recommend is if the notes that you're keeping are related to tasks or projects that you're working on, then really we should keep them in Asana. And I'm going to show you a few places where we would do that. The reason for this is that when you sit down to work on a task or a project, you don't want to be switching between Asana and another tool to go and find all the information that you need. You really want to have everything that you need in one place. That's just going to facilitate a much more efficient workflow. So where are you going to put these notes in Asana? Well, there are a couple of places. Firstly, in your project, each project comes with an overview tab. And this is sort of the summary or brief uh, that outlines what the project is about. Now, up here, you have this section, how we'll, be, how we'll collaborate. And um, there is a section underneath where you can store some information about the project and specifically how you're going to collaborate. And Asana has given us some examples here. Further down on this overview tab, you can add key resources. And one of the resources you can add is kind of a, uh, a brief about the project. Now, if I edit this and bring up these uh, questions on the right hand side, I can drag in these different sections and uh, I can actually change this. So maybe I could say discuss the budget and I can put in information in here. And this area, this uh, project brief section is really used to outline things like the goals, the background, the purpose of the project. And so notes and information can be stored in here. And what I would say is this is sort of your high level, high level information about the project would go in here. So that's the overview screen. Then if we go along our tabs, you have this messages section along the top. Now, this is one of the places we can communicate in Asana. And this can be quite useful for storing notes for things like meetings. So if you're meeting to discuss a project, maybe this project is um, a client that I'm working with. This, this could be a client project. If I'm having a meeting, I might use, uh, you know, meeting with Paul, and then I might keep my meeting notes down here. While I'm in the meeting, I could, I could put all those notes in here. And you can see down here, it's going to notify other people in this project. And it's actually giving me some options as well to drag in relevant tasks that are related to my meeting notes. I can actually drag those in as well. So it's a really nice way of actually linking my notes to relevant tasks in this project as well. So I'll just, I won't actually post that. But if I did, you see I have this kind of timeline here of the previous notes that I've posted. So yeah, meetings I think is a great example, or if you just want somewhere to dump information related to this project, you can do that on this messages tab. Obviously, just be aware, each project that you work in has its own area for messages. So notes related to this project would go in here, and I would use the other projects for other related notes. And then if I go into my, I'm going to go into my calendar view. Um, here is a video that I was working on. And you can see I've actually stored notes and information on the task. Now, this is probably the most likely place that you are going to store information in Asana. So when you sit down to work on a task, you've got all that information that you need in one place. And what I would say is that the task description is really good for, again, a bit like the project brief. This is sort of like the task brief. This is information and notes relevant to this particular task. You do have a conversation area down the bottom. This is really where you communicate. And so we can post updates and talk back and forth. 
but for note taking purposes this tends to be a little more hidden because obviously you have to scroll down and conversations obviously develop so if you want your notes to be a bit more permanent a bit more visible I do recommend keeping them here in the task description and here's an example of some notes that I've put on a task. This filing a GST return is something I do every six months and inevitably I, I kind of forget the process every single time. So what I've done is I've put my notes here on the task so that in a few months when I sit down and I'm ready to work on this task, I have my notes and I have my sort of checklist ready and the process is kind of written down for me. So it means that I, I don't have to go figuring this out. I've got all my notes right inside Asana and not in Notion or Evernote somewhere. And uh, I can really just get to work nice and quickly. Now, as I mentioned earlier on, really the difference between Asana and other note taking tools is that notes should go into Asana if they are actionable, if they're related to a task or a project. If you really want to break this rule, you can, um, although I would do it with caution. Now, you could, if you're going to do this, if you're going to use Asana as a bit of a, a wiki or a your all-encompassing note-taking tool, then what you could do is set up a separate project specifically for notes or specifically as a wiki. I would just say, make it clear though to other members of your team that that is not a real project um, because when you create tasks in that project, they're going to look like tasks and you don't want people to get confused if really they are notes. You don't want people marking them as complete by mistake. So you do need to make that clear. And with whatever you decide in regards to note taking, it's important to kind of come up with the rule for you and for your team about where notes should live. And again, communicate that to the team so there's no confusion about where things should go. What you really don't want to have happen is have some of your team members using Notion, some people using Google Drive, some people using Asana, because then you're gonna end up with information spread over multiple tools, and then retrieving that information later gets really confusing because you don't know where, where to start looking. So whatever you decide, make sure that you come up with those clear expectations and communicate that to the team. So I hope this video has helped. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.